Hi, my name is Kai Armstrong, and I'm the product manager for the code review group here at GitLab. Today, I'm here to talk about the upcoming GitLab 13.11 release and what the code review group is going to be working on. So let me go ahead and share my screen, and we'll jump right in. Here you can see the release board for all of the code review work that we'll be doing, but I want to talk about a few specific issues and what we'll be doing in 13.11. First one that I want to talk about is a concept that we're going to start working on called merge requests that require my attention. And so what we want to do is we want to make it so you can find the merge request that you need to work on as either a reviewer or as an author, where you are the blocker, where you're holding up the work that needs to be done there. And so um, we've got some things that we want to go through and do here, and you can see that involves some uh, statuses on the merge request sidebar. We want to update the merge request dropdown to only focus those ones that are waiting on you. We want to introduce a new filter for the merge request list so that you can see um, all of the merge requests that might require your attention. In 13.11, we're going to be starting with the waiting for filter for merge requests. And so this will introduce the filter to the application. Um, and some merge requests may be able to be filtered this way, but we want to just start here and start building out the logic for waiting for as we continue through all those other things linked in the epic. So I'll make sure the epic and issue are linked down below, uh, but we're really excited on this as we continue to build on our merge request functionality. Another often requested issue is displaying the change that made the thread outdated. And so historically in our comments, we've always showed this line down here that says, you know, this line was changed in some version of the diff. And this required you to click into that Go and find that version, see what the change was, decide whether or not it addressed your original question without having the context of your original question. And then if you needed to go back, you'd have to go find that discussion and, and leave another comment. So what we'll be doing now is we'll be showing you the change in line in that comment thread to show you uh, what the change was. And this allows you to easily recognize and see if the change was made that you needed to be made. And if not, you can leave another comment and hope to get that feedback addressed. And so we're really excited about this one. This will be a really nice quality of life improvement to that whole process of leaving a comment on a discussion and seeing that resolve. Another area I just want to quickly touch on is performance. And so we know performance is really important to everyone in their merge request workflow. Uh, and so this is a uh, issue about the performance of the merge request controller for discussions. And so this is all of the comments and, and notes that are left all inside of a merge request. We've been working on this for a long time. Um, we made some progress in some recent milestones, but we're going to continue to go back into this in 13.11 and, and really do a discovery and see if we can find a, a good path forward to really improve um, how quickly discussions load and um, the performance of those for users, particularly when you have a lot of comments that may involve a lot of changes and just a lot of general comments in the merge request. And so um, I just want to make sure everyone knows that we're aware that there's some performance concerns here, and we're really focused on, on looking into those and seeing what we can do to improve the situation there. The last feature I want to talk about um, is in our VS Code extension. And so if you're not familiar, GitLab has a VS Code extension called GitLab Workflow. You can install that in VS Code, and it gives you a lot of really great functionality to connect directly to GitLab um, and interact with the platform without ever having to leave VS Code. So we've been working on doing code review inside of VS Code. Uh, and so we're getting near the very end here. We've got the last few issues that we want to get lined up and so that you could have a full sort of code review experience. And this is now down to commenting. Um, so inside of uh, the VS Code extension, if you open a merge request inside of there, we'll show you the diffs. Once you see those diffs, you'll be able to click and use the native commenting functionality inside of VS Code to leave a comment on those lines, either the change lines or the deleted lines or other lines that are involved in the merge request, those comments will be posted back to the merge request inside of GitLab. So people who wanna respond in the GitLab interface can do that. And comments that are left in the GitLab interface also now show up in your VS Code interface. And so we're really excited about continuing to drive this forward and making the merge request process easier and making it in a place where developers are already working. And so um, expect to see some more progress on this throughout you know, the 13.11 time period as we continue to release um, pieces here inside of the VS Code extension. Um, and then hopefully we'll have this all wrapped up and complete sometime during the 14.0 release period. And the last little thing I want to do is just a reminder. Uh, we introduced draft to replace sort of whip or work in progress and merge request titles. Um, this was done several milestones ago. Uh, as a reminder, we are, that was deprecated. WIP was deprecated at the time and will be replaced with draft, and that is happening in 14. So if you've got any automation or other things built around uh, work in progress and WIP, um, just know that in 14.0, we'll be removing support for WIP uh, from the application, and so you'll need to use draft exclusively at that point moving forward. 
So thanks again for taking a look at the kickoff video here. I'll make sure all these issues that we talked about are linked down below the video. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always find me on GitLab and tag me in an issue and I'm happy to discuss it. So thanks.